is targeted for acne, but it also lightens the skin. Mm -hmm. So we have three um, equal portions here. Um, it's a teaspoon of turmeric, uh, a teaspoon of honey, a teaspoon of lemon juice, mm -hmm. and two tablespoons, again, with the full fat Greek yogurt. And we're going to mix all of these together. Right here is the apple cider vinegar toner that Nerida was just speaking about. Diluted. Diluted, no. for sure. One, one third apple cider vinegar, two thirds water. Is That's that correct. Mm -hmm. um, so, and we're going to help that. It's because if you notice, like the yellow, the bright yellow color, and that is due to something called the curcumin, and uh, it has. Turmeric is filled with antioxidants. Mm -hmm. It's antibacterial, it's antiviral, antifungal. Um, mm -hmm. People have actually used to make a turmeric paste um, to help with uh, minor cuts and burns because it actually keeps the bacterial infection at bay. Now, so did I not learn from you some time ago that women used to use this turmeric paste to stop hair growth? Yes, if you use it Isn't on a that? consistent basis, for thousands of years Indian women have been using turmeric and turmeric masks um, for their beauty regimen. Yes. And if it's used on a consistent basis, um, it's been known to actually control the growth of facial hair. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. So, so what are we going to do? We're going to whip it up and so Mix we're gonna so Grace, I'm gonna have you kind of because I want you guys to be able to feel comfortable with you gals to uh, to do this at home, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna put these in front of you. I'm gonna have you just sort of take the spatula and just mix it into each ingredient into one bowl into that bowl. Just fine. This one? Yeah, you can put that one into here because the turmeric. If you use too much, can stain. So I usually like to put the ingredients into the turmeric rather than turmeric. Yeah. So, so you're scooping out the honey? Yep, you're scooping out the honey. Now is it, is it important that they use, um, like an organic would be obviously preferred, right? But yeah, I think is, yeah, I mean it, yeah, I think organic is always time. good to, you know, a good way to go with uh, Actually, wherever with, you can. And also with the honey, if you use the manuka honey, oh, manuka honey. it's fabulous for really? the skin. Oh, okay. Yes, but it's so, expensive, so, so know. you know, okay. it's up to what you want to do. Great, so we've got the honey, and then, and then I'm going to have you, that's good, and I, you know, when using turmeric, I do suggest that you use a brush or a spatula, don't mix with your hands because of the staining or the discoloration, so I'm going to have you, I'll put in the, the lemon juice for you, mm -hmm. you got that, and then you can just use, I'm going to scoop that in there, yeah, and yogurt. our Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. full. And right. just start stirring that around until mm -hmm. it's, you feel like it's a nice paste. Thank you. Exactly. You know what's so fun, and um, uh, I'm fortunate enough actually to be um, on the editorial advisory board for New Beauty magazine, and we recently did something on masks and the different layering of masks. Mm -hmm. So what's great is that sometimes when, when someone's skin is really oily, it can be surface dry at the same time. So often what I do in treatments, and this is something that, that you could do at home too, is you could put on your turmeric mask for if you do have a little bit of a breakout with acne, but then if you're a little bit surface dry, leave it on five, you know, five to 10 minutes on its own, and then right at the very end before you go to take off, your, your mask, you then put on your hydrating mask mm -hmm. over top of it just to hydrate the outer That's layer a little idea. bit. So we, you know, layering masks is a really big deal right now and it's so fun to so do that. So this isn't added, right? This is just like... This is a toner that you, you just like a little... Right, yeah. we're, which we're going to help to take off the mask mm -hmm. after we use a nice warm towel. So like what way, like how would you put it on? Do you put it like in circle, up, like up and down? You know what I love about masks is they're really forgiving. So you can just paint it on her face, her beautiful face, Yay. and that would be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> but just try not to um, have too much on in case you don't want it. And don't get on my hair. And the <laughs> great... <laughs> it's so is it cold? cold? <laughs> oh, it's cold. And the great thing about masks too is you don't have to put it on really thick. You know, you can just sort of put a thin layer all over the yeah. face, and that's that's and you, all it's needed. And needs. the coldness is just at the beginning, but then so you get it used cold. To it. Yeah, it's fresh. Yeah, it's, it's very awesome. refreshing. Now, how long did it take you, Grace, to mix those ingredients? How long would you say? Honestly, it didn't take that long. It took like less, two less than a minute, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay.
There we go. You can okay. put a little bit more on her chin. <laughs> Chin's sure. a good area to cover because it's an area where often you have that oily T zone. It's and so you have cool. the little the little blackheads and yeah. That's terrific. You're doing a great job. And it feels so smooth and easy to put on. It's like it's it's not even like those chunky. Mm -hmm. It's just so easy. Yeah, like um so you sometimes I get masks that are not like I make them, but I go and get them from like Lush or something. And it's kind of like, it has like little... Um, Granules? Yeah, something. and like s like hard stuff and like, it's kind of weird, but like this is like, it's fresh and it's like nice and yeah, soft. Yeah, like it. So it, it's, it's because of what it has in it, it's really yeah. soothing for acne because often, you know, for people that have acne, it, it's very painful, the skin is sensitive. It's painful and you need soothing and calming and cooling, which is really nice. To, yeah, this to is good for sensitive skin, but like I think something like this, it would be like for like if your skin is okay with stuff like and more like non sensitive to like other things because it's kind of rough, you know? Right, because of the yeah. oatmeal. Yeah. So great. Well, good. Look at you. I know, you look very nice. So I'm going to give you a nice sure. warm washcloth. <laughs> To have you kind of just okay. put it in your face, and then you can you can just wipe it off. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll follow it up with the toner. Mm, that sounds great. And the toner, what does it do? So it just gets everything off. It does help with, especially when you use turmeric. It depends. Like some people, if they use too much of the turmeric, it can discolor the skin a little bit. And so it does help to remove any of that. And I do recommend when, while you know, when you do the turmeric mask, to definitely have a dark color washcloth. Wash yeah, to take it off. Yes, yeah. used to have a little bit. <laughs> Grace, could you bring wait it? here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. I can't see it. I usually have like a mirror when I take it. Here we go. Perfect. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. So we're just gonna take. Yeah. Oh my Yeah. Um, just. Like you know, cotton pads, and then just dip it in there. And, and that's our, it our out. apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. and uh, one third apple cider vinegar to two thirds of water. So it's a little stinky, <laughs> and then you can it's just okay. wipe it off. Yeah, I already feel fresh and stuff. <laughs> feel good. And um, so, so you've removed. You've gone over your face with the the. One third apple cider vinegar, yeah. two thirds water, just as a little toner, as a refresher after the mask. How is your skin feeling? Uh, like, as I said, like cold and fresh. It feels like good. Like it makes, yeah, it refreshes your face. And yeah, so yeah I good. feel like it's going to make a change. Well, this is great. I mean, what's so great about, you know, the masks that you can do at home is that you really can, you know, some days and depending on the seasons as well, uh, in the winter months where it's drier and it's cold and using you know a lot of heating inside it's really nice maybe to go to a mask that's hydrating but then in the summer months because heat stimulates sebaceous activity it makes your skin it stimulates the oil glands and it also is why your hair grows faster in summer is um, then this this might be a really great mask seeing we are coming into summer this might be a really great mask wouldn't you say for the summer mm -hmm. months to sort of keep that oil under control to keep your pore size small so Monique, this has been great. Thank you oh, thank so you for much for coming and showing us these, you know, once again, I mean, you're a whiz. <laughs>